Hello gamers, welcome back to the Minecraft Guide, episode 21, 21, 21, um, 21. <laughs> so, we need to talk about the word gamers. I think, uh, here, first and foremost, it's a weird word, right? Like, it's, it's a descriptive word, um, that talks about people who play games, but that's the thing, is like, uh, doesn't everybody play games of some kind, right? Like, I, I don't know, like, not necessarily video games, but also it's a weird word, because... There's this connotation with it. It's weird, like, like you say it, and, and it's like, did he, did he seriously say that? Like, like, was that real? Um, mine was an ironic use of the word gamers, and uh, it was for the good intro. You need a good intro for the intro compilations. So the the world, it's all doing well. I've seen a lot of great feedback ideas on the steeple, and. I just can't decide. I love the idea of using wood up there, maybe even just drying cobblestone, or even just getting rid of it completely. So, I don't know. I'm in this weird spot with it. Uh, and, I, and I also kind of like it like that. So, uh, we're just going to avoid it for now. <laughs> um, and it'll stay like that. And by the way, I saw some, some questions. It's not the Notre Dame. I was not trying to build that, like, too soon, guys. Too, too soon. Too soon. Uh, now, today's episode is a redstone farm buildy type of episode, so if you like those episodes, you're in luck. Uh, we also need a lot of iron, so we'll, we'll do that. Uh, now, today we're, we're focusing on a fully automatic sheep farm. Uh, if we can build one of these, then we'll have infinite free blocks, which is pretty good. Um, but before we get into the, the actual build, I think we should talk about... A very interesting block. That interesting block is known as the Observer. For what I plan on doing, we'll need 16, I think. Um, or at least we'll start with 16. And let's take the Redstone and the Observer and go over here. So uh, that's an Observer right there. That's that's the back of an Observer. Uh, this is the front. Uh, the front is the face side. And you can actually kind of tell uh, based on this arrow. So the arrow is pointing out uh, that way. So that's the back. You can connect redstone to the observer, uh, like a redstone line, and the observer observes. So uh, you observe the redstone line when I, uh, whoops, uh, observe this line when I place a block in front of the observer. Uh, I should probably stand where you can see it. You see that? Like the flash? Uh, that's what the observer does. It sees when there's a blocked state change uh, right in front of it. So like not over there, not there, uh, right there, and it will send a pulse. Um, that goes for pretty much any kind of block state change, like a tree growing, um, grass growing, uh, even a sheep eating a block um, of, of grass. So that's what we're going to be using um, to make a fully automatic sheep farm. It, the thing should be good, and we'll have infinite blocks pretty much as long as we're over here. So uh, that's the plan. That's the observer. Um, that's that whole thing kind of broken down. So let's talk about where I'd like to build the thing now, uh, which is over here up the hill. So the obs uh, the, the sheep farm. Um, I, I've been thinking, you know, ab about the comment of the day. Well, and that should happen soon. Maybe we'll start it today. I, I don't know. Um, but the wall. And, and I want the wall thing looking at the ocean, but I'd also like the sheep farm over here. Uh, this build is, of course, going to incorporate redstone, and that means, uh, like, building is harder. Usually for me, uh, when I'm building something with redstone, um, like, like, making the building look nice gets a lot more difficult. And that's why I recommend when you're building, like, a build like this one, or the semi-automatic wheat farm or something, just put it inside of a, a, a cliff or <laughs> a mountain or the ground or something, uh, because then you don't need to worry about the outside of the build. Uh, you see, when you build a normal build, like the church building um, that I built, uh, you can make it however big or small you want, but if there's redstone involved, um, all of a sudden you need to take into account certain dimensions, and yeah, that just gets a little bit more difficult. So uh, we'll chop the trees down over here and wait for those to, to go away. Um, but while I'm waiting, I unfortunately, and I don't like this this word um, or, or the sounds of this thing, but we need to brave the night, guys. Um, for the build, I'll need 16 dispensers as well, and we'll talk about dispensers in a bit, but dispensers are crafted with bows, uh, and bows are crafted with string, and I do not have a lot of string. And unfortunately, you cannot reverse craft um, wool from wool down to string. Or at least I don't think you can, so we have to fight spiders um, and skeletons because um, they'll drop bows, but yep, so um, I kind of think I should 
make a boat and sail off to the close island that's over here um, because it's all open fighting mobs in a forest is dangerous very bad um, but the thing is and, and that's the island i'm talking about um, i'm so close to leveling up so if i can stick around here and, and level up to 30 then i can enchant a sword and get uh sweeping edge three. Oh yeah uh-huh um yep i'm gonna keep that and we need to kill like three things um three spiders yes 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 oh yeah level 30 that's right that's right watch out guys i'm basically a professional here now i, I don't like to say it but somebody's got to say it and i'm the only one talking in this episode so uh i'm basically a professional let's go ahead and do this uh sword boom boom uh oh no <laughs> only sweeping edge three well that's okay uh we don't have any time to waste we are heading over to an island to to kill mobs spiders and everything like that we need 16 times three uh um string so yep we need a lot um <laughs> so i am heading away uh, over there i i think it'll be easier to fight mobs over there i i can't i i can't blow up my whole forest with creeper explosions i just can't and this is pretty close so uh, wish me luck. Hopefully we're good. This is the first time I'm doing this in the series, and I don't like it. Um, <laughs> we need a skeleton farm ASAP. I, I, I need to find one. I, a spawner. Oh, and it's a little late in the episode now for, uh, at this point, uh, for last episode, but if you missed last episode, I, I'm basically Diamond Man now. Uh, sorry for the endgame spoilers, I know. Um, Diamond Man, though, basically. Um, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. So, Sweeping Edge 3. I, I didn't explain it, but basically, Sweeping Edge um, uh, it increases the damage of your sweep attack uh, when you when you swing at something. Um, <laughs> I'd show you, but I need to recover a little bit of health. Um, but, but basically, if we have a group of mobs and, and we swing our, our sword... Oh, yeah, that's what I'm going for. <laughs> um, if we have a group of mobs and we swung our sword, instead of only damaging the front one with a lot of damage, we damage the side ones with with a decent amount of damage as well uh, basically it's good um, and it's only on java edition there's no sweeping edge on bedrock unfortunately yep uh then that's how the night's going uh that's how it's been going for me if you're wondering yeah uh, that's, that's about it Okay, so one night down, uh, I will definitely need to come back and do it again, um, like another night time or something, um, but it's time to sail home now. I have 14 string and a few used bows, that, well, one, and I have a few back at home, so that should do uh, for now, um, but I think each night during this episode, I will be going over to the island to, to hunt. Uh, it kind of worked out well, so that is the plan. But the build, uh, so I'd like to leave some of the hill here, and, and, and oh boy, this world lag is rough, guys. Uh, but the build, the build, the build. I'd like to leave some of the hill here, but um, some of it will have to go. We'll, we'll be placing this build set into the hill to make it a little easier to do. Um, now we need in here to have two eight long sections, um, two separate ones, uh, so I can do things like that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight, and then we'll do, uh, another eight in there and the build will come out of the, w the wall here. Then I think we can still do the sub wall or the commons of the day wall, excuse me, down there probably. So that should be good. It shouldn't, uh, like interrupt any of those plans. Now I need to do a bit of digging before we can actually do really anything with the build. So I, I think I'll get the digging done here and now. So, so you don't have to watch it and, and yeah, um, there won't be that much digging, maybe like four deep or, or so, um, and like only like three high or, or so, maybe. I I know, but I don't. Uh, so yeah, we'll see. Oh, and by the way, I, I saw the meme from the subreddit. Uh, this thing here is not a joke to me, I, I promise. Uh, we'll be coming back for that to talk about it a little more later on, but it, it's not a joke to me, I, I promise. Okay, the digging is done. Everything looks good to me, but uh, it is uh, about to be nighttime. So, you know what that means. It is indeed, 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 time to go. 
go hunting again. Um, 16 times 3 string needed. Which is 48, by the way. To be clear, 48 string, technically minus 6 already, because I have two bows that should work fine. So, um, yep. That's the amount that I need. Add him back over. I'm sure it'll be pretty cool. <laughs> it'll be cool. Oh, man. Uh, oh, man. Die, all right. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. The second night was a semi-success. I... I'm almost done with the string, though, actually, which is pretty good, and that also means that we can move on to the build, part of the build. Uh, before the build, part of the build, I need to go get a block so I can build something on the build. So here we go. Uh, we'll start with um, some smooth stone slabs. I think that'll be good, and then we'll need our... Uh, we might as well make the observers now, or the uh, dispensers. Let's make those two. All right, so first we place uh, an observer looking at a grass block like that. And we have the arrow pointing to the back. That's good. Then we do uh, smooth stone there just to make things look nice. Then redstone dust. And then finally a uh, dispenser in the front. And then we will place some shears inside of this dispenser. Uh, this dispenser will shear uh, the sheep that is in front of it. So um, we'll basically have a row of sheep standing in here and then grass that they can eat and this will be tiled over and over and over again so we'll have uh literally eight of them all next to each other and then uh eight more over there uh, right next to each other and then tons of sheep like as many sheep as i can get inside of this thing uh whoops wrong way uh, as many sheep as i can get uh inside of it so we can have hopefully some decent rates the redstone shouldn't matter it, it should still all work i i think if it's like this um I think, uh, will that work? I think it will. It should. You know what? No, 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 it won't. Uh, now that I think about it, like, this dispenser would never get powered, so we'll have to do something like this. Like, we'll run all of the redstone wires on top of the dispensers and then we can tile this thing over and over again right next to each other all together and we won't have any issues whatsoever but we have a problem here i have seven observers left and there should be 16 so i i, I think i have some recounting to do i i mean there should be um <laughs> there should have been eight i was one off with my wall and where that goes so this needs to all basically move over uh, but this all should be pretty straightforward now um for the most part so I think I'll just replicate the design over and over again. I eventually, I'd like to get like some colored wool and everything like that in here, but uh, sadly, I I just don't have any colored wool quite yet. Um, so so for now, we'll, we'll probably just leave some plain blocks and, and come back and fix it up a little later. Now, the other thing that I need to do, like like very badly now, is uh, bring sheep over here, and I don't really have a good spot to put them, so. I think down here, we'll have to cut it, that's fine, we'll just flatten this out a little bit and we'll make a small sheep pen. I have to bring the sheep over from where the they are right now, which is with the cows, so it should be pretty easy to do, just uh, a matter of going and getting them, I guess. And thankfully, <laughs> they're right next door, so let's see if we can, we can convince one sheep, uh, just one, no, that's not a sheep, that's not a sheep, okay. Uh, let's do it this way. Uh, one of you guys can... No. Hmm. How should I do this? Uh, you go away. Uh, quick. 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 Uh, one of you guys... Uh, yeah. Somebody. Uh, somebody run out here. Uh, yep. 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 We'll do one at a time. Um. No. Wrong. Oh. Boy. <laughs> uh, you gotta go, man. You really gotta go. Uh, there we go. Uh, you come with me. Yep. So here's the plan. I have my second sheep coming over here, and we will put the sheep in this pen down here, uh, by the by the water, I guess, kind of. And uh, we'll breed the sheep in this pen, then I'll, I'll move them out of this pen slowly, and, and get them into to over there. I only need um, two, you know, for each side, because um, they are separate, and then... Uh, I can probably just get rid of this pen over here, and I'll leave the sh some of the sheep over there in the other one for now. 
Um, but yeah, uh, the colored wool will come in on the back of the build, and um, yeah, that's that's pretty much all of all of what I'm thinking here. So now it's it's really just time to. Well, you know, I, I need a minecart rail system under here, too. Uh, I might as well talk about that and put that in really, really, really quick. Uh, but under here, like directly under where the sheep stand, uh, we'll have a rail line running with a hopper minecart in it running back and forth. We'll just have one for the whole thing. I think that's fine. And then in the middle, we'll have a, a hopper um, on the ground that goes into a chest. And that's where we will get all of our, our wool, uh, like, kind of funneled into. So, um... I need to dig. I, I really need to clean this hot bar up, like, like big time. <laughs> it's really bad. Oh, <laughs> I broke into the, um, this is the, the back of the wheat farm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh-huh. All right, uh, here we go. Boom. Uh, that's a lot of bows. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. Uh... Now it's time to to absolutely try and speed make dispensers, which is difficult. Um, so uh, how can we do this? Uh, maybe this, um, that, and there you go. That's how you do it, guys. That's how you do it. Uh, yep, that's that's the way. All right. So dispensers in um, now. Redstone wiring just pretty much goes all over all of this and then finally we need the rails the rails the rails the rails which i don't think i've made any yet so let's see is it like this i can never remember it is okay 16 uh we actually need a little bit more unfortunately so uh oh no well yeah uh oh oof i needed gold ones i i needed powered rails yep mm. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, well, uh, that's okay. It's it's not that big of a deal. It's just iron. Uh, but here we go. Uh, wait, what? Hmm. Huh? Oh, that's right. Yep. There we go. Powered rails. So the next thing that we need in here is some redstone torches, and then all of our whole rail line thing. Uh, I think we'll do a little bit of powered rails in here. We'll space them out, maybe like there, there. Uh, what is that? Like two in. So here and then i think two over i hear a zombie too we must have a cave system nearby but uh this should be pretty much a perpetual loop for the minecart the cart should just bounce back and forth i think forever mm -mm. you gotta go oh by the way uh, my other sword broke so i re uh, enchanted a new one uh sharpness three fire aspect one not the best but but it's a sword but anyways um our, our rail line so we need to power the powered rails which is really really easy all we need to do is uh place a power source below them uh so a redstone torch uh that'll do and then these ones might be a little more yeah oh no <laughs> uh so those are going to be a little more tricky to deal with um but probably not too bad i think we can hide oh boy how are those actually going to work hmm i think we can place uh, we could just put it right next to it, right? Like, I don't think I'll be seeing this. Uh, so we'll do that. Uh, that should work. So we place our chest here, right, for, for picking up things. And then we place our hopper minecart on this rail down here. And then we push it, and it starts, and it goes back and forth forever. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, ah, that's right. That's right. That's right. No, 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 no. <laughs> you see i even make mistakes sometimes uh we need to make sure the rails on the ends curve upwards if they don't curve upwards they uh the cart won't bounce back and forth so hopper minecart we'll try that again and we'll we'll start you um right in in here uh now you will go yep yep and uh oh no I promise, guys, I don't want to do this. I, I I, absolutely promise. This is how we do it. We we have powered rails on the ends. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, you see? <laughs> uh, so there we go. Now we have a minecart um, that is running back and forth forever. Just bouncing off of the walls like that. That should be good. Uh, it should work fine. And we will pick up everything. So last but not least, it's time to get the sheep actually in here. So... We'll do glass on the front of all of these, and then I'll get dirt underneath here so the grass can actually 
uh, regrow, right? Like, we can just cover this whole thing up. We don't really need to see in here. And if I need to get in here for any reason, um, I can just, you know, dig down by, by the glass, like under the glass or something. Um, but I need to wait for grass, I think, to spread over this stuff before I actually put the glass on it. So we'll pick that back up, uh, wait for all of the, the grass to spread in, and then it's time to get sheep inside of there. So uh, the farm is just about done. Uh, oh, oh, and, 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 I, I'd like to say that I, I love smooth stone, so, uh, we're, we're going to use a lot of this in here. Uh, and the back will be rainbow wool, eventually, like, we'll make a whole rainbow of all of the colors, but I, I just can't do that yet, I actually, you know, need sheep first, so, uh, that'll wait. <laughs> For now, we'll, we'll just do the glass, and, and that'll be good. Oh, and, uh, you know, I didn't mention, but we need to get uh, shears inside of each and every one of uh, these little uh, dispensers. So uh, I'll get those in there uh, right now while I, I kind of wait around. And so uh, here we are, our final little explanation bit about what's going on uh, before we end it. So I, I have sheep in either side. Um, I'm waiting for them to really just be ready to breed again. These guys might be ready. Those need to grow up but um I, I blocked off the back of the farm and we will need to modify some of the stuff that i have going on here and we'll we'll be talking all about uh what's going on probably in the next episode uh, but eventually i'd like to have colors you know kind of just in here they won't you know represent anything they'll just kind of be there but uh yeah i, I think there's um, a good stopping point right here on this project so uh, cut, 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 cut. Um, <laughs> uh, we're not done yet. Uh, comment to the day wall. Uh, let's talk about that and uh, some of the changes that I just made to, to this thing. Let's actually start with the changes. So uh, just a minute ago, you saw too high glass and that's gone. I, I decided that, um, you know, the babies were bothering me and driving me crazy. So <laughs> I put slabs here and, and the slabs on the top half are actually holding down the adult sheeps and or sheep. Uh, there's no S sheep. And then whenever I, I breed them and there's a baby in here, uh, the babies can't get out either. And I don't know what they're doing. Uh, it's just like a, a romantic stare. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the dirt will come out uh, once we have the right stuff. Uh, it's just there for now. And, and yeah, uh, the slabs are there. And, and we'll, we'll do more next episode. But the comment of the day wall. Let's talk about that a little bit. So I think we can put it down here on the level of uh, this sheep pen thing. And we'll have a proper wall. Like, like a wall running... Um, like long ways like all the way along here and we'll we'll make like a, a nice walk area like a boardwalk and and then probably just a cliff down to the river or something we still have a lot of room though so maybe we can even like fit something else down there or, or something that could be kind of cool but um i i think we'll need to level a lot of this out and i i also think the wall should wrap around um the uh the island here in a way right like We'll sort of follow what I'm digging up right here, and then we'll have an entrance, if you will, from the campsite. So, how far down do I need to dig? Um, I'll need to dig two down from what I just did, which isn't bad at all. Um, and I'll just level it all, get it all good and flat, and then I think we'll be at a good stopping point for today. I, I'd like to... To try and make some of the episodes a little longer, I think you guys like the longer episodes, and... I can certainly get a lot more done in the longer episodes. So let's finish this up with a little bit of a project change uh, for you guys. And um, we'll start getting the wall in. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Where's the other sheep? <laughs> uh, there's the one. Okay, there you are. Come on. Uh, they got out uh, when I was digging the thing, and, and yep, they went everywhere. So, you guys are, I'm sorry, but uh, not free quite yet. I don't know if I'm done with these guys. I, I'd like to make a sheep farm, but uh, for now, you, you live there together um, in harmony, in peace. It, it's peaceful. Now, this is the thing. Um, you see this giant tree? It's really cool, and, and it's pretty, and I like it. So, I think we'll do this. We'll do a one, two, three, boom, 
and and leave it alive for now. Uh, uh, wait, uh, too far, too far, too far. Uh, we'll leave the tree alive though. Um, I think these trees are great for decoration uh, and all, so so the tree will remain, um, but the land will not, and the short tree will. I I think stay for now as well. well. We'll just leave it alone. It's fine. It can it can live there. So the comment of the day wall. What is it? Well, it'll be an area where we close a lot of the episodes from. No, not from here on out, but uh, eventually, like very soon, maybe next episode. Um, and and we'll talk about something. The comment of the day will be chosen by me um, from one of the most recent episodes. It won't necessarily always be the last one. Like, if I have a bunch of really cool comments that I want to talk about on one episode, I'll, I'll just kind of save them and, and do that. And the comments will be chosen, of course, from the guide video uh, comments. Um, uh, like, the sheep farm, you, you might recognize it if you watched um, the, like, Four Simple Farms video. Uh, but I, I won't be picking videos or comments um, from those videos, probably. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I might change my rules a little bit. I am not sure quite yet. And this might be terraformed. We, we might have to terraform that. But the wall, the wall, the wall, the wall. Um, we'll have a lot of item frames on it, right? And I'll do like comments and, and books, probably. But uh, what do I do, guys? Like, like what should the blocks be? I, I don't know if I should do stone brick on, on everything, right? Like, there just gets to be a lot of stone bricks, so I think I need some input from you guys on this one. Um, what I'd like to do is just replace the dirt on the wall with something. And I, I think this is where I'm going to leave you today, um, like, with the question about it. Um, because I just don't know. I uh, we, we could try stone brick, but there gets to be a lot of stone brick, right? Like, everywhere. We could do concrete. Concrete could look cool. Um... I could do a wooden wall. That could look cool too, but uh, I think I'll leave you guys with a question. What does the wall become? Uh, what should I do? Um, tell me down below. How about we'll have an exit over here, uh, like from the comment wall over to the campsite. I don't know if we'll really make, make a proper road or anything. Maybe we'll just kind of leave it open or something. Uh, because I don't really plan on making a road through here and, and connecting the campsite necessarily. It's just kind of the starting area, but... Uh, yeah, I think that is uh, just about everything that we'll be doing today. So plan on uh, more sheep farm stuff next episode. And and uh, yeah, I need a... I, I should have had a road over here, shouldn't I? Uh, one more thing. One more thing. One more thing. All right, I'm aware that it's a little tight. It is certainly a, a very tight road in here, but I am... A okay with that. I think that's cool, and this will help me actually access where the sheep farm is and this whole part of the uh, the area over here. Thank you very much for watching this one. My name is Waddles. Go have a good day. I will see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.